Uh, we're doing day two. We're on our way. We've got Faith driving the car. Hey. Maybe in the back. Jacob in the back. Today is going to be a pretty good day. We got some heavy stuff to do. We got Michael Winslow, Susan Chiani. We got a lot of stuff to do and uh, hopefully we get a little bit more traffic. But if it is, I hope it's as engaged as the people we had yesterday had a good time. And we're probably getting a visit from Mr. Ableton today. The guy that works at Ableton in Berlin. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it and uh, we'll see you at the festival. Best day three? Three. Three or four. Uh, we're getting ready to go eat lunch. We just got here. Our workshop starts at two. And uh, these are all the people. <laughs> yeah, what, what? <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the goofy face. So we're here to get in and we're locked out. It's really hot. Oh my God. That's where we're supposed to be right now, but we can't go in because we're locked out. It's terrible. Today is the first day that we have a crowd, and it's the day that everything is fucking up. We're rebooting the system. I have all these people. But it's good. It's gonna be good. They're all cool. So what this is now is called the No Permission Needed Create. Because when you come up here, you don't need any permission, and we're going to make some great music, and whatever you come up with is what you come up with. I'll be here to guide you. We'll teach you a little bit multi-tracking, and we're going to come up with some amazing stuff today. And just walk away from this. Don't ever take anybody's dreams away. Don't ever tell anybody there's any rules in music, and don't ever believe that there's rules. Because if you want to do this, anybody can do it. The barrier to get into this is so low now, cost-wise, you can make any music you want. So hopefully we get you started on that track today with the, with this workshop. Awesome, so much fun. Uh, just like the freedom of all of it, how you get to choose the drums, pick the instrument, he just gives you so much freedom on everything. So much fun. <laughs>
Excellent man. That was great. <laughs> Today is day four of Moke Fest. It's uh, pleasantly chilly. Can we reenact what I just fucked up? Of course, of course. Oh, it's so chill. It's pleasantly cool today. Don't you agree? I agree. Oh, I, I thought agree. you were gonna. No, not pleasantly, but it is chilly. Uh, it's chilly. I, um, I missed that uh, weather powwow y'all had. Yeah, it's not... cool today, which I'm totally into, as you guys may already know. Um, so we're gonna go to the modular marketplace and check some things out. We're gonna buy a hoodie, and then we're gonna set up our workshop for the last day. See you soon. This is a fair light. I was like lusting for these in the 80s. You throw on a different overlay, it's now a drum pad. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that is actually very cool. It's all me oh. coming straight off the USB, so you can do it over USB, Bluetooth, anything like that. And oh, that's cool. It's all pressure sensitive, so you can detect anything on it. Like, you can detect a paintbrush, a finger, and it's all just about what you can do with it. More memory lane moments. This is my first keyboard in, um, in the 84, maybe? All right, so this is day four at Moog Fest. It looks like it's gonna be pretty quiet today. Today's deal that I'm trying, I'm experimenting with new stuff every day with my vlogging so I can get it, like things like zooming in as I get talk, talk here, or is this better? I'm just trying out stuff. Yesterday, I just handheld the camera all day. Today, I have my Casey Neistat style. Um, gorilla pod. So I'm gonna see what it's like to carry this around all day. It gets a little heavy, but I have the legit Casey Neistat copycat setup right now. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, we've got two people waiting to go, and um, Aben is playing his Rob O'Reilly guitar right now. Let's see what that looks like. It's, it's a uh, MIDI guitar. I'm doing today is um, I was playing around with the uh, wide-angle lens a lot yesterday and I really like that stuff but it seems like walking around with the wide-angle lens uh, is strange so does it seem weird right now like the way the edges of things look as I'm walking and talking um, I kind of love some of the photographs I took yesterday there was a videographer here um, who saw my camera he's like oh do you do video I was like oh, I'm learning how and he gave me some really great tips about angles and um, not being dumb basically so I feel like just in that little five minute little tutorial he gave me I learned a lot so that's what we got um, I'll film more later today I feel like this is gonna be a really good vlogging day it's quiet and um, I can practice <laughs> Hey. Dude, I like that. 
All right, we're in the car on the way back uh, after day four. I lost track of how many days we had here. Day four. Day four. So um, that's it. That's the end of the Moab Fest story. It was a really fun weekend. I even feel a little sad that it's all over. <laughs> just a little blah. So sad. Uh, what's up, Jacob? You want to say something? Yeah, I want to say I had a blast. Um, I'm amazed at everything that we got done. It was super cool seeing everyone come out and create, and um, to be able to be a part of that process was amazing. Awesome. And then, Aben, what? I think we did all right. <laughs> you know, peace. <laughs> Last year, they, I had some highs that we didn't get this year, but this year we did take it to the next level. We were a little bit disappointed the first two days because we kind of got stuck in the boondocks last minute so people had trouble finding us but by saturday when people found us everything turned around and the festival went great we also made some great contacts this this year that i didn't get a chance to make last year we got contacts within ableton uh we got to meet some really cool people gochie came and hung out with us for a bit i yes. mean really cool things happened we got to see some great shows and animal collective gave jacob blisters you know, at first I didn't think it was a big deal, but now I'm really pissed and I'm going to write them a letter and make sure that they cover my bills. That's the way it should happen. All right, kids, that's it. Thanks for watching all these vlogs and stay tuned for more.